Hello Snowflakes, it is Pixikelly and I'm gonna talk about my dog and his seizures because that's something I mentioned in my last video which was filmed just a few minutes ago for me but like a week ago for you if I'm doing this timing thing right. So I just wanted to do a little bit more of a conversation about Stewie and his seizures just because it was really really scary for me. Oh my god! We have a journal going of the times of all his seizures when he the times of all his seizures, what the possible triggers could be, um, how long they last for, how long his recovery symptoms last for, what he was eating that day. So we have a pretty good documentation of what's going on, but the vet's still not entirely sure what is happening. And speaking of the devil, Stewie! Hi, come here! And I could just be, he is an adult dog, he is nine, so that's why. But we're not entirely sure. I don't know, it's really scary, especially if you don't ever think about the fact that your dog could have a seizure and then suddenly he has one. It's absolutely terrifying. So I just thought I'd do a little, like, PSA about dogs and seizures. Usually, if a, your dog is gonna have epilepsy, they will be having seizures between, like, puppy and, like, four years old. On average, that is when dogs get seizures and it can be so they just need like an epilepsy pill and they take it every day and your dog will more or less stop having seizures there has been a bit of a problem i don't know if it's in my area or if it's on like a whole of people getting prescriptions taking it to a dog pharmacist and they either don't fill out the prescription properly they use old products so they only give half or they only tell you to give half the dose so a lot of people have been going to like um, their actual pharmacy where they themselves would get their medication for their dog's epilepsy pills and you'd have to talk to your pharmacist but I believe that is a thing that you can do for your dog or it's just what like a couple of our neighbors have been doing. It is more common than you would believe. As soon as Dewey started having seizures and we started looking for more information, we realized a lot of our neighbors and friends, their dogs also have seizures and they had a lot of information and we looked online for a lot of information. If you can make your dog treats with things like basil and rosemary in it and apples and blueberries and like it, it could help. It won't help entirely but it could help and I highly suggest making a documentation or a seizure diary to track when your dog is having seizures. So you will be able to figure out if it's usually at a time of day for Stewie it's usually around like five to eight is when he's gonna have a seizure for some reason is dinner time um, or it's when he is overheating or it or 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 keep a diary or something it's some sort of documentation so you can track when where how long it is when your dog's having a seizure and when your dog's having a seizure they usually do like a paddling like motion with their legs that is very 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 common and then of course they have other seizure symptoms where their entire bodies will shake. They will usually urinate, possibly even poop. Sometimes they won't though. Sometimes, so do not be like, oh my dog's not having a seizure because they're only shaking and they're not urinating. No, they can have a seizure without peeing or like anything. They can, that can still be a seizure. Their entire body will shake. It'll, they'll be having like muscle-like spasm sometimes. Um, their eyes could roll. Their eyes maybe don't roll, but they can't see it doesn't matter how close your fingers get to their eyes they won't blink they won't see you there sometimes they will not hear you so you like snap your fingers around their ear and they won't their ears won't twitch so they cannot hear you sometimes they can't even smell you a lot of the times they chomp their mouth so they might accidentally bite you it is not their fault that they do they will be kicking their legs a lot their whole entire body will be shaking it is really really scary some dogs like stewie they can inhale but they can't really exhale and you might have to help them with that the safest position for your dog while they're having a seizure is lying down on their side we didn't know what was happening to stewie, so the first thing we did was we picked him up which isn't is not the safest thing to do it's much safer for them to be lying down so if they fall into it just make sure you're there for them because with stewie at the very least there's a big gust of wind so sorry but with stewie at the very least he walked towards us knowing something was wrong his warning symptoms were the 
paddling and the jerky movements. It looked like he was trying to hold a pop because it was cold, but it wasn't. It was the middle of the summer, and then he fell into a seizure, and it was quite long. And then coming out of it, he was having muscle spasms. He was very confused. He looked pretty drunk. Depth perception was pretty off for quite a while. So he was jumping into things. He was walking into things, and. For a while though, he's been having difficulties with vision, but like it seems to have gotten rel kind of worse because of all the seizures. And he's had quite a lot of seizures now after his first initial one, they've been quite shorter. Sometimes they are pretty long and they're really scary again, but on average, they're pretty short, they're pretty quick. And his recovery time is instant. It's like he didn't have one. And then you just, they are terrified and your dog's fine. And it's kind of frustrating. It's good to know what to look out for. So look out for the paddling. Look out for things on the ground. People, like at least in my area, are like, oh, I gotta get rid of the coons and the skunks. I'm gonna put like paprika on the ground. That can seriously hurt your dog and then might cause them to have a seizure because dogs are different than humans. They can have seizures from their pain, their like seizure threshold being lowered down. So if they're in a lot of pain, their threshold is being lowered and being lowered and being lowered. And it seems from what I believe my vet was telling me, it doesn't go back up. Like once it, it doesn't necessarily go back up, but you really want to make sure your vet checks it out because a seizure might not just be their age. It might not just be they have epilepsy. It might not just be their breed or that they're inbred. It might be thyroid failure or liver th failure or like kidney failure. It, it could be just a symptom of the actual problem or it could be the actual problem. We gotten an emergency medication to give to Stewie, which you can e either give it to him by putting it up his butt or like, like a treat and he doesn't always accept it. Come here, baby. So you really got to figure out what's good for you and your dog. And like, you just got to be careful and you just got to watch because seizures don't necessarily all only happen when they're a little puppy. They can happen at any age and they can happen at with any dog because of any sort of thing. Um, it's pro I believe it's more common with purebreds because they're purebreds and a lot of purebreds are kind of on the inbred side because of how pure of a breed that they are. If you have a mutt, if you have a mixed breed, you have less of a chance. But seizures were not something I ever thought that this little boy would ever, ever have. And I was very shocked and confused. And I was just like, let's get him to the vet because like, I was, I was terrified. But it wasn't something I was expecting. It was never something I, thought to look out for it was just something that suddenly started happening so always be prepared in that sense to and always be watching your dog um i'm really bad for this or at least i used to be i'm now kind of like obsessive about it i didn't always watch what my dog was doing i didn't always pay attention that he had a lot of un he had a, he spent a lot of time without us being around because he is kind of a grouchy boy. He would just go into another room and have a nap and we'd just kind of like leave him to it. He spent a lot of time here outside where we were like cleaning the house or something and we wouldn't be out with him. He'd be, he'd be having a blast, but we wouldn't necessarily be watching him. And I, I highly suggest watching your dog all the time. If you have the money for it and you go to work and you go to school, definitely enroll them in some sort of doggy daycare. Number one, it's good for them because of socialization. And then you have someone watching them 24 seven. Here, lift up your face. And then you have someone watching them 24 seven. So if anything happens, you know what's going on. So if your dog had any sort of like health issues or you're just not sure, I highly recommend that. Now don't be super paranoid and be like, oh my God, my dog's going to have a seizure. Your dog could never have a seizure. I have friends and their dogs never had a seizure, but it's definitely something that is more common than I was led to believe and it's definitely something you need to keep in mind. Now, we found out that my dog's mother has mini strokes. And then we found out when we informed the vet of that, that dogs can't have strokes. His mom is probably having um, small mall seizures while Stewie's having grand mall seizures. A small mall seizure just means you kind of like stop it, you kind of stare off into the distance. I used to have them and it meant like I was totally, I was completely conscious, but my eyes would be rolling. Um, and Stewie, of course, he only has grand mal seizures, which means your entire body shakes 
like it's very obvious you have no control you're borderline unconscious because like the seizures take over he could be having seizures from like concussions because he's a jack russell he falls on his head all the time but we don't believe that's it we're pretty sure it has more to do with he is very very pure and being a purebred so that means he's kind of inbred and we already know things that he is inbred because like he's really really tall he's really really big for a jack russell and so I already know that he is sort of mutated in a certain way. I still love him. I'm still happy we have him. There's nothing at like the people we got him from. It's just, it's, it's just what happens sometimes. But you, it's definitely something that you should be aware about if you have a dog or if you're getting a dog or if you know somebody with a dog, just like let them know, hey, if your dog has a seizure, get them straight to the vet because it might be something they ingest it might be a one-time thing but if they're having a seizure it's it's very scary and it could mean they ingested a poison that might kill them or it might mean like a liver failure problem especially if they're an older dog like Stewie or it might mean they have epilepsy or it might mean they're having seizures because it's a mutation from how purebred they are it's a it's pretty common with dogs from puppy mills or so more store-bought dogs so I highly highly discourage buying from a puppy mill i suggest buying from a breeder or adopting from a dog shelter like a humane society or something like that like the spca um that that's what i suggest because even though it's great to have a purebred dog they have a lot of health issues that can easily be solved by breeding them with a different breed and always 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 with any sort of health thing get a second opinion get a second opinion um see a couple vets um see an osteo see a dog osteopath like do do something get the information that you need because i don't have all of it but i know it's a lot worse on the really really hot days so like heat stroke and everything so just be mindful that like is is a possibility and what you do in those situations you lay your dog down and as soon as the dog's okay you take them to the vet or you can do what we did and take your dog start taking your dog to the vet while they're having the seizure and get peed all over but i i am i don't care that i had pee all over me we got my dog and he's safe and he's alive that's all that matters um but yeah just be mindful watch your dog make sure they don't eat anything weird make sure you keep in mind what age they are make sure you keep in mind what breed they are make sure you're smart and just love them while they're there and that actually is love all your pets while you're there love all your friends love all your family while they're there because you never know what sort of health things are going to get in the way and just be careful never think that nothing bad's ever going to happen because you don't know never guarantee it to anybody because you don't know and watch your dog because you don't know because they can't speak So this was kind of a downer video and I'm sorry. I just felt like it really needed to be said. I felt like I really needed to say it. Um, be mindful, be good. Anyways, I'm Pixie Kelly and I hope you have a fantastic week. I have a public Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook page. If you are interested in following me there, please feel free to subscribe if you enjoy this video and want to see more. Give a like, give a like, leave a comment on what you want to see next. Um, Remember, oh my god, I forgot to say this in the last video. Remember, you're adorable and to love yourself. Bye.